folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. We're still in the middle of that thunderstorm, and Edmund, if you remember, he came back last time from his balloon trip fully charged up. No, he came back full. He'd had a meal, so I sent him to bed. That's what it was. He slept all afternoon into the evening and woke up, and he was wide awake. Had a lightning strike over there somewhere. Battery is pretty much maxed out. Uh, 91% next lightning strike will max us out. Be nice to have a second battery so we can take advantage of, uh, of all of that. But sun is rising, thunderstorm is raging, Carter's drinking. <laughs> Otherwise, I had them up till late last night. In fact, I did. Um, let's tweak this a little bit for just today. Move anything to there. And let's move relax. Actually, let's just skip relax. Let's do it that way instead. Let them, uh, normal work day, but they can sleep two, yeah, two extra hours. And they'll still do whatever they need to do. They tend to do it anyway. <laughs> no matter what I tell them to do. Anyway, I gave Edmund a whole bunch of tasks to do. And he is reconstructing by carrying something. He's carrying carbon nanotube. No, that's alloy. Into, I assume, the roof. Hmm. Huh. Look at all of our supplies here. Oh, so the pickled... Let's see, can we click on that directly? We cannot. There we go. So the pickled vegetables look like a pot. In that sense. Let me see if I can get out of things. I get my window back. That's coffee. Tea? Is the tea in here? It is not. There's all of our sweet syrups. And those are the... Oh, what do you call them? They're in medicines. Healing balms. What are you? I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff, but... What is that one? Oh, that's bandages. Okay. And somewhere in here we've got... Oh, there it is. The smoke leaf. The dried showing up right here through this. What else you got? More bandages? More bandages. Interesting. Don't really get in often enough this close to, to see things. Inside the fridge, here's the slabs of red meat. And those are the chew roots, the potatoes. And we've got a couple of meals in here in their pans or pots. That is glitter, glitter cap, bug meat. And our pumpkins, or buttermelons, Mel buttermelons, right? Something like that. Um, what else we got in here? So that's our cotton, our heads of cotton that we're calling cloth. Just built the shelves to get the, uh, uh, the leathers in. We've got old feathers, which I would imagine, oh, there's still quite a bit of life to them. So... Under a roof, there's 48 more days. Okay. You are the silicone, or silicon. You are ore? No, you're just more silicon. I can't click anywhere out. I click up there. There we go. And... What are you guys? Bottles bottles of wine. Moonshine. Uh, skin bark that has not been turned into leather yet. And poo. Manure. Here it is. Yep, so there's our supplies. There's our hay, logs, sticks, stone. I wonder where the concrete is. It's only ten of it. It was made in this one. It's not still sitting in there, but it is right there. I don't know where it is. If I click on it, got nothing. Okay. Huh. I don't know where that's represented. And there's... There's Rita's 10 scrap metal that she carried out there instead of bringing all 40 a few episodes ago, and it hasn't been picked up since. Anyway, Edmund has been working on kind of spot repairs of turning us into a very space-age-looking freezer. I really don't like the look of it, but it's what it is. Okay. Anyway, turn this back on, see what's going on. Carter's playing the didgeridoo. Umayar is researching. And Edmund is still constructing. Eventually he's going to go pick up his new railgun sniper. And it quieted down. I can stop yelling. Hmm. Can you hear me when I talk this quiet? You can. So, you're finding more 
alloy and continuing to build. All right, so Carter on your own. Oh, you're still without being told to do any relaxing. You're you're doing it. So Umiar, what are you researching right now at a much faster rate on your new um, advanced research desk? We've got research working on the pulse rifle, then the concrete fortifications, and then battery optimization. Anything else popped in that looks like we need to dive into it? Eventually we're going to want to get into this guy and a sensor to only turn it on when necessary. Otherwise, I'd say we're looking pretty good right now. Carter's going to deconstruct all of my staircases. Yeah, there is no way to make them talk to each other afterward. And, you know, I thought about... Hmm, do I still do it? Nah, I was going to put double gates in so it would line up better with the uh, staircases, but I like the staircase look. That Whether they're functional or not, they make the, the place look right. But there's no way to go uphill from here. It, you can't build stairs out the back side, it just, it just fails. So I've got to start from the top again and work down, and I've got to be in a different alignment now. So it just wasn't going to happen. So anyway, let's start working on people's orders. You guys are all deconstructing. Uh, Edmund did not get his new pistol yet, or new gun. Maybe it's still in the six more? Could be. Rita is getting something to eat, so she must have gone out and did a little bit of, of harvesting. I need to get her to continue planting... Or someone else to continue planting. Umar, how are you doing otherwise? Happiness is right there. You are indoors, so you get a plus 15. As soon as you go outdoors, that turns to a negative 15. So that causes a pretty quick swing. Otherwise, you've got quite a few good marks there. If you got a good meal, if you were to grab a buttermelon pie which doesn't seem to exist but a meat pie does though bread would be even better Paulette what have you been up to any bread uh, nothing in that one and nothing in that one zero up two okay so Umar, if you were to eat a meat pie right now I could get you out here to plant something you still can't plant you can't plant this one but you can plant this one which is buttermelons yeah, let's get one more round of buttermelons before the, the winter hits. Oops, I didn't hit shift. One more time, you're going to do this, and then you're going to shift and do that next. Okay, Paulette, you're just going to keep cooking, and thank you very much. Carter, you are probably going to get back to your construction duties. You need to get in and do the final repairs over here after the last bug attack. Um, Simon... Transporting. Should probably leave you alone to get caught up with all of the handling that hasn't been done for a while. Yeah, I think that would be wise. So that leaves us with Edmund, who I'm kicking around doing another trip with, just to go and maybe pick up some more of those free CPUs. He brought three of them back last time, and it would take Kana a long time to make those. So how long would it take to make those? This guy here, although Kana is pretty advanced, so it was a lot so uh, quicker than... It was the CPUs, right? I'm pretty sure it was. So, that's right, I've got to hover over it. 12 hours, so... Kana's crafting skill is up to 8 right now. So, a maxed out crafting, what, is he, what do you think that does? It cuts your, your crafting time in half? 6 hours? So it's still eight hours, so the best she could do is two of them in a day. He can go and get three of them and come back. I think it works out to our advantage to do it that way. Though I'd love to see what the next other one is, but maybe we'll send Rita to do the next five-hour random one when she's done with her planting. So an episode or two from now. That one doesn't expire, so it can be whenever. Okay. So Kana... Oh, where are we here? Kana, if we're doing crafting... Oh, we still have two CPU cores. It's power cells. Okay, what was that one? Was it power cells or CPU cores? It was... Think, think, think. Supercomputer. 
CPU core, so power cells would be nice. So, can I get her to make power cells? And what does that take? That takes 12 hours as well. So, one of them was shorter. It was the electronics. Okay. So, we're saying build at least three electronics, because this one needed three. What do you need? Uh, this guy over here needs five. Ooh. And we do want the battery. Okay. Let's kick that number up to five. We already have two in stock, so she's not going to build this. We don't have the parts, so she's not going to build that. Then she'll drop into this. So kind of on your own. Oh, on your own, you're sound asleep. So, Ten in the morning, too. So no matter what I had said, she just slept right through it. Uh-huh. So what did they say in the Pirates of the Caribbean, the code? It's more of a recommendation than a law. So that's the, uh, the, the schedule in this game. Anyway, so... Kind of, I'm going to ignore you for a while, and I guess that's kind of everybody, right? Yeah. So, Edmund, what do we do with you? I'd say we send you on a trip. Grab a railgun snipe. Where are you at right now? You are down here deconstructing. Ah, I can say Carter can get to that, but you're already here. Okay. We'll let you do this run and see what happens. Though this wasn't on your list. So I'm wondering if that Railgun Sniper is still in your list. I don't know. Now you're constructing a lightning rod. Hey, the lightning storm's done. I just noticed. <laughs> okay, Carter can do the lightning rod. You come and grab some kind of a meal. Um, your relaxation is pretty good, so you don't really need anything beyond just food. So go ahead and do that. And... You can sleep on the way. Let's go get some more of those uh, solar flare. Four affected devices. Oh. So, four devices are going to consume 50% more power. What does that mean? That means that we are using 10 more power than we are making. With the generator off. Generator makes... Uh... I'm sure it's here somewhere. I thought it was 20. Let's see. Status. Batteries. Am I really just seeing the generator? Production 60. But that's the whole system, right? These guys are production 60. So what is just this guy alone? Supplying 30. Supplying 50. Okay. When it's running. Alrighty. I see. Um, I need someone else to fuel this guy up and fuel up a balloon yeah we need a balloon fueled um Khan is sleeping Paulette is cooking Umayar is planting Edmund is going to get something to eat before he leaves Rita and where's Simon Simon that's who I'm missing so you're grabbing those and you're just going to you're just kind of going to go all over the place, aren't you? Okay, well, when you're done, give me a balloon. And then give me a generator. We're going to need that today. Okay. So once that balloon is fueled, and if he doesn't have it done in time, then we'll just have Edmund fuel his own stinking balloon. <laughs> anyway. It's been a long day. Spent the day renovating and hoping I have enough energy left tonight to make this semi exciting. Carter, you need to get in and repair. Although there's not much to repair. Do they ever tear into our torches? No. So if you don't get to it, I guess we're fine. Yeah. Um, these have died, haven't they? This particular one. No, I guess she, I guess you did get these harvested. Okay, Sarita, I need to get you working specifically on something. And I, one thing I've got to remind myself, relaxation does not equal happiness. Happiness is the accumulation of all of them. So even though her relaxation is almost nothing, she's still sitting up here at 90-some percent. You know, 63 that we've gone to, but we're accumulating up to this point. So we should see that gradually increasing. Though right before my eyes, it's not 
happening. Why is that not happening? Do I have to click on her again? No. That's the forecast. A projection of how the happiness will change based on the experience, pleasures, and troubles. So based upon these numbers versus that number? Hmm. There's 64. So I guess over the day it's going to change. But she doesn't have to go out, go in and get her relaxation upped. She's still doing fine. So I want her to give us a load of this as the most important thing left to harvest. I think so. Yeah, the rest of those are just rocks out there and trees and something going on. That's a spaceship debris. Okay. So Rita, why don't you come out here and harvest green grass for the rest of the day. So Umiara is planting and I'd love to say get you into something else when you're done. You're still, you know, you're, you're on your way down, but you're not doing bad. We could tell you to go into here next and eventually when I remember you, I'll see how you're doing. Um, there was probably some leather out here wherever that that olfen was butchered last. I just saw the other olfen made me think of that. Though we are doing pretty good in leather, so if that thing rots out there, like these poor sticks that have been here forever, then we'll, we should be okay. Um, Edmund is constructing carpets. Have we put fuel in? We have. Let's get Edmund out of here, I think. Edmund, yeah, you're decent. Okay, you expeditions... So, we could send them here. Last time we got three CPU cores. Indefinitely, the number may be random. Or we send them out somewhere else and see what else he gets. He brought clothes back every single time from this one. We haven't done a spaceship debris before. They've been... S I guess we did do this one, though. 3-3, three, three. this was a 5, and these were 3s originally. So we did this one. We did 5 and 4 on this one, and we, did, we haven't gone back. So this one, for some reason, has 5 available versus the 3 over here. You are the Armory Bay debris that we were wanting to know if it would be different with a higher physical score. Maybe it's time to find that out. Let's go do that one. Send expedition. All right. Um, first of all, though, Edmund, I want to make sure that you picked up a real gun. Just in case you have to use it there. So you grab that. Then you should dive into the mission all on your own. But let's just watch it and make sure. Equipping becomes... Trans okay, on an expedition. Great. Carter was hungry, yet he's going to go construct a fence somewhere. Let's get you some kind of foods. And eh, let's throw some relaxation in there, too. So, meat pie. Because fruitcake is reserved by Edmund. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Simon is transporting all the leather. Okay. Well, as much as he could carry. Which is quite a bit. Bringing that in, dropping on the shelves. That should put a pretty good load in here all at one time. Well, I think it's 100 per pile. All right, so we're still within just a single shelf unit. Boom, boom. Oh, you put it there and there. Okay, there were spaces left. Now you are sitting. How are you doing otherwise? Are you sitting because you absolutely have to? That's two clicks now. Simon, yeah, you probably do. Though, if I could get you to eat this fruitcake... You would get relaxation and you would get uh, food at the same time. Then maybe you can skip the other step. We've got smoke leaf drying over here. We've got some meat drying over here. And I heard a pen cough in a tree somewhere. He, there he is. He just squawked at me. Um, Carter's building. These fences are going to take forever to build. They really are. Hopefully they will do what I was hoping to do, just to give us a, a test run. I was From here it didn't look like there was any purple out there, but yeah, I guess there is some. Um, Carter, what's the best thing to do with you today? Should I have you cut trees? 
I probably should have you do some ore. We got ore so close by. Let's go ahead and get this one mined. And then... If you have it in you after that, do some scavenging. Let's see what we roll the dice on over here. Umiara, I did remember you. You are halfway done with this field. And you are still in decent shape. Let's use you for a little bit longer. Help Rita out. Because Rita... I, I would imagine she plants faster than you do, but she's got a lot of replanting to do yet. So those are done. Don't really need any more of these. In fact, I started to decrease this. I was thought of, about bringing the fence line across evenly just to make this look a little better in the end. I don't know. I wanted to bring it up across here, but it wouldn't build right there. It's just a dead spot. So I had to go down lower. Reach farming one. Okay. Carter's mining. How quick did you go through this? We're already at 1,700. You got it in you to do four of these and do scavenging? I don't think you're going to get there. Nope. And we need to get some mining done if we're going to get more concrete in stock. Which would be nice to get some concrete done ahead of time and get it all stocked up so when we start to redo this fence. Or we might find that we can't afford that fence. And we want to put it in a lot closer to, to the house and just wall ourselves in and sacrifice the rest. I don't know. So I'll have to see just how far concrete really goes. Um, so Edmund's gone. Simon is just doing, he's doing a bunch of transporting that's not what I want him to be doing. So let's concentrate him on... Uh, sheet metal from scraps, so Kana's got all of these things. Kana, let's get you doing some more electronics. I would really... You can't because we don't have any more alloy. Okay. Then, Kana, these are there. That's there. Alright, then, Kana, if I have you do one of these, is there a chance that I can get Simon to do one of these it doesn't say all five okay so you do this one this one this one Kana you do that one and that one okay and I'm always kicking around putting in a a sixth one I can see needing a lot of this quickly in the future especially when we get to concrete Kind of. So before this thing gets running, let's move it over one. And Simon, hmm. Kana, I guess it's going to have to be you before you bring the supplies over. Come on over and move this. And then I'll have you do that one. And maybe even build one. That's right, you're, you're good at construction. So you just pick it up from... Oh, from up there and drop it back down. You're impressive. Okay, copy you. Drop you in there. Kana. Uh, yeah, let's see how fast you can build that. That is sticks and scrap metal, if I remember right. Yeah. Stone. Ah, we have 170 stone. Okay. So in that case, Simon, you could probably even grab this one from scrap. And then next round will be from ore. So I'm thinking that there's 10 per? Yeah, so that's only going to be four furnaces worth. And what are you doing sitting here? Hmm. One of the bugs from the last attack. Surprise, that's still there. Pankoff's usually zoning in on that pretty quick. Gobble it up. Hmm. Alright, so Paulette is still cooking. Did it help us? We're eating almost as fast as she can cook, but I see there are six, eight meals. Right? Two butter, buttermelon pies, four meat pies, and two fruitcakes. And she never gets to the other ones because we keep eating them, and then she goes back to the beginning of the list again. So what if we did take all of these down to twos? So she can get further down the list each time. Just to see a, a better variety. 
I think that might be worth it. Some of these we've never cooked before. That's the same stove. There you are. So take you guys down. And let's see. Veggie soup. And fruit cake. Meat stew. Meat soup. Though veggie stew. We've got Kana who is a vegetarian, so I wanted to keep a, a larger percentage of vegetable somethings. Or well, actually, she just won't eat meat, so the fruit cakes and whatnot count for her as well. And that did not get done, and that did not get done. Carter's that's right. Carter's is as obsessed about fencing. Oh my, are you better call this a day? As Banished is obsessed about building roads. So they will only do fencing from now on unless I specifically tell them to do something else. I'm trying to find the word Carter in here somewhere. You... what was this? You hit a trap. Oops. Tame. So you're not bleeding out. You just kind of wandered this way. Are you stuck? Or is there a timer on that? You're dazed. Carter's over here. Carter, you're still total happiness. Okay, even though your numbers are down, something's got you all excited. So I'm waiting to see if he's going to leave on his own. Bleeding, not life-threatening. One per hour and trapped. He most likely will not live through it. Can Carter tame and hunt? He can't free. Hmm, that's too bad. That is... Rita, you've been out here all day. You... Your happiness is crushing... No, it's not crushingly low, but I better leave you alone to go do something. Which is what? Appreciate a shroom torch after you haul in some grain. Thank you. Now, is anybody else that can haul in something? Paulette is sitting. She's had a long day. She's got an average mood. I'd say you can run out there before bedtime and haul some of this in. And we got everything built in the fridge as far as shelving. We do. And I see the generator is running, trying to keep up. 50. So with you running, status on batteries is negative 20. We are actually going to run out tonight. And not be able to keep up. Interesting. Because of the solar flare and no longer having the the solar panels running. Solar panels do not have CPUs in them, right? So the four items we're talking about are uh, this guy, that one, oh, and the switch. So that one, that one, this one, it's, it's like it's counting this one. Unless it was the generator. Yeah, you're counting this one, though it's not built yet. That's interesting. Huh. So it's not really affected. Hopefully it's not accidentally costing us electricity. And then this guy. Or one of these two. I think it was you. Hmm. Okay, well we got almost all of these going. So what is Simon up to right now? You are relaxing somewhere. Uh, sitting, okay. And... How about you relax tomorrow? Why don't you get this last guy going? Let's get Alloy going. And... That was Simon. Okay, so... So you two are both working. Okay. Lumiar has been working all day, so he's... He's angry. He's gonna go kick something. Kana is reading. And she just finished... And that gave her a big boost. She's good for a while. And she's going to go build an electronic. Did we build one today at all? We did not. Okay. And Rita is bringing that in and she's done. So that leaves Carter, who is working on trying to find something here. And I'm just wondering if we want to hunt this guy. I don't see any way to release him. Unless I can get Carter to Carter 
to reset the trap. Handle trap. Handle traps. Let's see what happens here. See if we can release him. Though he's hit three traps, he's probably going to bleed out now. But if he does that three times... No, nope, he's been retrapped. Okay. And he's pretty much down. Yeah. Um, Carter, you've got a real gun. I'd say it's time to hunt this guy. Put him out of his misery. So, hunt Olfen. Sorry. Olfen is unconscious from from the uh, the traps, apparently. Okay, so you're done. I want you to handle the traps, and then I want you to butcher and bring in the meat. All right, well, that's one downside to having open traps out here. It is. Carter just reached physical six. That's good. We brought it away. Hides somewhere. And who knows where. There could be some still scattered way out there from those other hunts. All right, so you're doing that. We'll have to get back to this scavenging later. Paula is bringing in what she can carry. Simon's already asleep. We did get that running. So we've got at least 60 new... Um, so we've got caught up on alloy except for one run. Okay. Rita, how bad off are you? What time is it? It's 2 in the morning. I better leave you alone. Okay. So Carter is going to transport and spend his morning sleeping in too. Um, I'd like to get one more of these running. Oh, I see. There oh, was... Was your message sitting up there and I didn't notice it? Uh, we actually have finished off all of our alloy. So as each of those stoves were finishing, ten more was being added in. I was in the belly of the armor bay, sifting through broken weapons and rubble, when I uncovered a small control panel near the base of a wall. I pressed a button and the display flickered several times before showing input password, followed by six blank boxes and a countdown. Oh, what are the chances of getting this password right in time? Well, 100,000 into one? Leave it and search for more thoroughly for weapons. Sounds like the more reasonable option. Your guess is as good as mine. Give it a go. Uh, six blank spots. Password is eight. So, by typing in password. Um, search more thoroughly for weapons. Or just give it a go. The big prize is right here. And the odds of getting it are very small. That feels to me like what's really being said here. Let's go with the other one. And complete armory. Okay. I stepped away from the control panel and kept looking for something of use among the scrap and broken pieces. The countdown ticked away and the display darkened when the time ran out. Still curious. I went and checked the panel again, but it wouldn't light up anymore. I pressed the button several times and when nothing happened, I went back to the search for debris. It's killing me that I don't know what the password guarded. But on the bright side, I found a functioning weapon and a decent amount of usable scrap metal. All right, not bad. He's going to bring back a medium amount of scrap metal. Okay, well, you did superior to what Rita was able to do. She only brought back a small amount of scrap metal. So that was good. Uh, we're running. We're running. Carter is slowly bringing that in. Yeah. He needs coffee. Whom I are sleeping. Everyone over here is sound asleep. What do we do to make these rooms look better? I mean, there's not a lot of decor in this game. I can drop a chair in. Armchairs. That's right, you can assign the armchairs. But it's nice when they're sitting out here around each other. And there's a chance of having a conversation with each other. So to give them their own armchair in their room is not the, uh, the ideal way of doing it the way I see it. Um... Hmm. Otherwise, if we put leisure things in there, the odds are someone else is going to walk in while they're sleeping and start throwing darts. 
So I think they do it already with the shroom torches. So what else? Light and heat. Um, oh, fan is new. I've never seen that in the game before. So it'll help them cool down in the summertime. Ooh, okay. Or warm up in the wintertime. Which we've got to think about soon. Uh, leisure, furniture, housing, storage. Uh, we've got wardrobes in there now. They don't seem to get a room bonus by having additional things. They only get a bonus by having so many squares available in their room. So making it look better is more of a aesthetic thing, but it doesn't seem to be a gameplay issue. Yeah. Uh, different color flooring maybe for each of their rooms. I don't know. Anyway, um, Kana, what are you... Let's just... <clears throat> Grab a meal, and you don't need any real any happiness. You're maxed out everywhere else, so eat some bush fruits, and then get to work on electronics. Okay. So Paulette is still bringing that in. Oh, it took them a long time. So is Carter. Edmund's on his way back, and that's all to report for this day. So what else is going on out here? Rita is almost done with the important harvesting. This is cutting. So she will immediately drop into planting after this. Good. And that noise. It was a noise like the solar flare. I wonder if that means that it's about to end. When the solar flare kicked off, it made that ominous noise. Old equipment is whom? Kana is just about out of shirts and pants, and we have a shirt, six coats, a fur coat, a synthetic vest, leather armor, a leather vest. So I wonder if she will, well, she'll probably just grab the shirt. Yeah. Pants, we have summer pants, trousers, synthetic leggings, spaceship pants. Yeah, so we've got options. She, as soon as they uh, fall off of her. In fact, where is she right now? So she's still wearing them. So they're at 0 or 1%. So soon she'll go and swap those out. Um, anyway, I heard that noise like happened when the solar flare began. But nothing has changed. So does something else start up? I was going to go kind of wander around and see what else is happening out here. Try to do that every couple of episodes. Need to get out here and get this stuff done, too. Got you guys. Any more birds in our neighborhood? They didn't last long. We had those couple of nests. And I think they went and picked on some bullies. Oh, here's a, two nests. I'm thinking this is two different groups. So out over here, where's your guys' nest? They tend to stick together. I'm pretty sure that's two different nests. Where are my oh, where are we? Over there, okay. Just taking a quick early morning tour. You're having trouble. Who picked on you? Bleeds out in one day and 16 hours. You guys too? We need to observe them. They're just eating. And I've never seen these two pick on each other before. So something else caused that. I'm guessing it was a bird. Probably the one that got that one, too. Yep, right there. And you? You're just sleeping. And you? Sleeping. You need to be butchered. That is a Carter thing. And I suppose you need to be hunted. You're going to bleed out, and there doesn't seem to be any healing for them. Once they start bleeding, they don't seem to ever stop. Which is a shame. They should naturally be able to clot and you know, gradually heal themselves. But I don't remember these guys being here, so I think they just 
spawned into the game. Hmm. Okay, well, Carter will... Butcher. Carter. Let's have you... Where's the hunt? Hunt. Yeah. And then... Butcher. Get some good target practice in with your new rifle. Otherwise, what's going on? <clears throat> Con is almost done with an electronic. Paulette and Simon are all trans are handling things. Good. So you're going to load up the rest of these. Carter may get to work on it, but he probably won't. He'll just go back to working on fences. So I'll need to specifically tell him to get in here and build the lightning rods and what have you. But Carter's over here hunting. Um, how is it we keep adding more? I guess more of the roof or something is being added in. To the list. Okay, one more time, Carter. Oh, he's going to go behind the rock. Darn. Well, he's smart. Butchering. Let's go back and finish your job. Hunt. Butcher. <laughs> Hunt. There you are. Butcher. And butcher. Yeah. And they're too far apart for you to interact with them. So I'm going to have to be here to tell you to haul the meat back from both of them, aren't I? Probably... So you are walking slow, but you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. All right. Edmund, not back yet. Kana is constructing fences, which is great, but she's also defaulting to needing to do fences instead of the things that we want you to do. But let's let you get just... In fact, I guess I should have you... Just watching the purple disappear here. Okay. Handling a distillery. Boy, it's really random what they what they do. Kana, can you construct a lightning rod? And then can you construct a lightning rod? And then what? Can you go ahead and construct five carpets? 32 meat about to rot away. Where is it at? It's out here. Okay. Well, it's probably no good then. No good to do anything else with it. Though it would probably cook up into a meat stew and go back to 100%. But there's no way to tell him use this meat for the meat stew instead of that meat. Unless I brought Paulette out, stood her right here, then order her to make some meat soup. Meat stew. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Anyway, I feel like I was in the middle of something. Um, so you're going to do those. Oh, I was going to have you do other things. Kana, you're in decent shape. Did you ever reload? You did not. Okay. So you're good for a while. I could have you just kind of get this stuff. Actually, I could have you do that roof. Construct the wooden roof next. This has been sitting here for several episodes. They never seem to get to it. So, luckily it's been summertime, and and uh, they've not been out there freezing. Um, so, Simon is hauling stuff, which is great. In fact, Simon, when you're done, you've got nothing else planned, let's come out here and get this done. Uh, haul a bunch of those. Rita, I know you want to do these so badly. I may as well just let you just get it finished, because once this is done, I won't have to... Uh, heard you back to here again but what will happen when you get to this we're still in that solar flare too when this is done you are going to transport let's let simon do the transporting let's let you finish getting a meal yeah any fun meals fruitcake so okay do your transporting eat a fruitcake and then spend until tonight harvesting the last of this stuff. Okay, that's you. Paulette is cooking. Great. 
And Carter, you are hauling. Okay, let me think about this. That was the one that was over here. That is leather left. The other one's right over here. Can you haul this and what will you do? You cannot. If I tell you to do it now, haul. Oh, oh, now you did it. So holding shift <clears throat> turned it into a second trip. But ordering you to do it right now, he kept the other one in his hand. Okay, I'm learning how to do this. Hmm. Only on what? Episode 32? <laughs> anyway. Um, Rita is still making her way in. She's going to pick up every single one of those cans. Except for that one. Simon's got his 240. And... What next is real important for Simon? We're sitting pretty good on fuel. Edmund's back. Edmund did what? And what did he bring back? He brought back a laser pistol and 70 scrap metal. Okay. Um, I don't see an Edmund, so he walked off to go do something. He had to go build a fence. Yep. Edmund, come on over here and eat a fruit cake. And then... Oh, you can probably hold off sleeping until tonight. Why don't you... What else seems like it's real important? Maybe just finish off the carpeting. Yeah, let's, let's just get that done. That's kind of the last of the construction projects. You are needing what? You need a CPU core. You could be built. Oh, you could be built. Then Edmund, when you're done, you're going to build this. Construct air conditioner. Okay, that gives you enough things to do for the rest of the day. So meat is rotted away. <clears throat> and Carter is over here. You're coming back with 91 meat. Great. Carter, you didn't go to bed? You didn't go to bed for very long. That must be it. You are still a total happiness. <laughs> But I would imagine your speed is... Well, movement is still 100%, even though you're dog-tired. Okay. <clears throat> um, I guess after that, just let Edmund and Carter... Just, we'll just see what they decide to do on their own. Yeah. So, Kana as well. She might go and do some more constructing. Though she's kind of stuck in the handling loop, too. Hmm. Why are these... Oh, that's where they're stored. Okay. It's so one of each right there, because that's the closest one. Yeah. Though, handling a furnace. I am kind of wondering if I want to keep you building... Not enough resources to make electronics, so we need more of the alloys. Okay, just keep doing what you're doing then. So, Carter's still slowly making his way in. Oh my, you are finishing up on the pulse rifle. Which I would imagine we're, we're just about run out of. We're halfway done with our pulse rifle. And it might be kind of nice to get a pulse rifle on two of them. If we can stun more bugs before they can make any attacks. That might be a good idea. Yeah, could be. Um, I see someone holding his head. So, Edmund Paulet reached cooking eight. Great. Edmund is constructing a fence. That's not what I wanted you to do. So, you have kind of given up on what I want. I've noticed that once they start, to, once they go to eat, they tend to lose what's going on and and make up their own plan after that. Eating seems to be a, you know, seems to clear off the slate. Um, Edmund, are we there? The roof is done. Let's have you put this in. Let's do this one right now. M missing resources. 
You need a CPU core. You need 10 alloys. You have bricks in you. You have 10 alloy. No, you have zero. We're making bricks. <laughs> We're mirroring this one, and I'm only giving them limited orders. I want to keep as much scrap metal as I can because I want to pepper this thing with traps when we get to that point. I want to have a thousand scrap metal sitting in there. So those can all go in quickly in case by the time we finally get there, we're kind of in trouble because it's taken us so long getting to that point. Let's move alloy from ore up a notch. Let's do that. That'll get the alloys ahead of bricks. There won't ever be a, a lot of ore. So it's not like it's going to take over. Okay. So we get the round of bricks done. Though we could... What are you doing right now? You're hauling scrap metal. So that one is still calling for it. Okay. So when you're done with that one, head into this one and give me from ore and give me from ore. Okay. And Kana, I think you'll be fine. Otherwise... Omar is going to finish that research. Simon is crafting oils for Paulette to cook with. That's good. How are we doing on oils and fats? 40 fats, 35 oils. So yeah, we're, we're sitting pretty good on that. Uh, I think I've got 40 as the the max for those. So that should stop him from doing it again. You're going to transport bread next from the stove for Paulette so she can just get in there and cook. That kind of works. Connor's handling the furnace. Edmund is constructing a fence. So Edmund could not build this. Uh, no. Right, okay. So is there anything else that's real important that Edmund get to? I mean, he could put more of this in. He could. You constructing a fence... Oh, I see. You're just picking up a whole bunch of logs. All right. Edmund, can you get in and do these instead? And can I find roof from any of these points? Yeah, pop in a... Well, the four walls and the roof. That'll finish your day. And I just heard that ominous music again. Wondering if uh, we're going to have an attack next episode. It's been... Two episodes since the last attack, or was that last episode? <clears throat> we started last episode with one. Edmund is going to break, going to fall apart on me. Okay. Where are you right now? You are still trying to do all that. All right, let's break you and constructing a fence. Okay, what do you need? You need to sit down and just relax for a while. What do you enjoy? What is your, you love buttermelon pie. You get a big bonus out of buttermelon pie. And I don't see a single butter... Oh, there you are. Buttermelon pie. You go do that. And that will make you a whole lot happier. Carter, you're already asleep. While it's going to sleep, Omar is just about finished with that research. He is so close. Boom. Pulse rifles. So we've now got what Paulette already has. Uh, turn you off. Turn you off. And... You are going to immediately go back to researching. Um, you love bread. We have some. And you may as well grab a meal before you go to bed. So, eat some bread, and you'll be good for next episode. What else is going on? Rita is so close to just being done. I'm going to leave her alone and let her do it. 20 hundred hours. I think you can finish before bedtime, before the, the game would naturally... I think it's midnight when the the schedule calls for you guys to get to bed. Yeah. So you'll be able to finish that and haul in a bunch. Great. That's done. And Kana is handling a furnace. Oh, ore. Did you get it all? You got it all. Great. Okay, that's done. So next time in and around the bug attack I may be sending somebody else off to go explore something else or get those CPU cores that we didn't get this time we need to get the ore brought in here 
What do you guys think about building some kind of a temporary structure over here? Hmm. Send everybody up with supplies to build a structure, two beds. They're off hunting somewhere. Nesting place for a large bird. Hmm. Um, storage building, or a building, two beds. A shelf with emergency meals, maybe. And base Carter and Edmund out of it. And send them off here to mine. What is the chance that that would even work? Meaning they're going to constantly be trying to go back and build a fence. So... I guess I would just have to min-max them. Turn off all of their their tasks, activities, except for mining. Or something like that. And then reassign their beds. I don't know, I'll have to think about that. There is so much ore out here. 12 ore in that area. 32 ore over there. 3... Oh, we run out of map? We run out of map, okay. So if we were to do it in this direction. Yeah, there's 11. There's 17 more. Ore. Nothing over there. So there's at least 40 ore out there. 40 times 10, so there's a lot of ore out there. Hmm. It would, it would build a lot of advanced structures later. Just got to figure out how to do this. Too long of a trip to get out there, tap on three or four of them, have the day be just about done, and then carry them back. I just, I would, we'd lose a dozen episodes of them just walking. So it's got to be a better way to do that, but it is so far away. Uh, Simon is transporting. It was just 10 to transport. It's a shame. And this stuff will sit outside for a long time, but it's already midnight. It's going to say go collect all this and come, up, come home but the rate that they start that they walk after midnight how slow they walk though he's got the faster walk all right we'll do it go out here and collect grain instead okay otherwise what Kana's bringing in those bricks that she that she made uh nobody else is outside inside Edmund is writing which gives him a happiness bonus. Yeah. So now no no I need you to write on your in your at your own desk. I need to be able to assign ownership to different things. Yeah. No. I need you to write a story not allowed. What am I missing here? Okay, now you're writing and you're going to that one. Okay. Yeah, he wants to go into Kana's room and wake her up. Where is Kana? She's not there. Kana's still handling furnaces. So she is... I don't know what she's up to. But she needs a meal before next time. So let's get her to do just that. Buttermelon pie... And then she'll go to bed automatically. Rita is planting it. it. <laughs> Rita, what are you doing? If you're 58%, you don't automatically go to bed? Hmm. Well, at least we know she'll be automatically planting next time. But, yeah, let's send you to bed. So, boom, boom. Rita, idling all the way down there. Okay, Rita, let's just tell you to go to bed. Sleep in wooden fabric bed, currently unable. That's Rita's bed. Rita, are you broken? There you go. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So, Umar, can you, like, go to bed too? What is it with you guys? Midnight? It's midnight. Huh. So, 
Umear, you, yeah, you're you're fine food-wise. You're not at the bottom. I want them waking up with a negative 18 to start the day. Rita's going to sleep, going to sleep, transporting. What's Simon going to do when he walks in? He hopefully is going to get some food. So let's just make sure of that. After this, you're going to eat bread. Okay, then you will go to bed. So with that, I think think we're just about finished. These guys didn't time it right to be able to have a conversation. Yeah. But she got a lot of bonuses for having that meal. So I think we're done for this episode. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.